Hey guys! Hello, gorgeous. Time for another Patreon Special Missions video. I talk a lot about the big 80s toy lines on this channel, like G.I. Joe, Transformers, and He-Man. Hello! How about me? You're right, how about the old Alfer? <laughs> Who else? This request comes from Patreon General Hill2, and it's for the vintage plush talking Alf by Coleco. The top brands you always hear about from the 80s are Hasbro, Mattel, and Kenner. But Coleco had some cool offerings too, like Rambo, Sectars, and ALF. And with the ALF reboot looming, this would be a great time to look back at the original version. I make things happen. I'm a catalyst. <laughs> there were a few different versions of ALF in plush. Today I'll be taking a look at the 1986 Wisecracking ALF and the Storytelling ALF from 1987. Let's start with the wisecracker. <laughs> Must be one of them talking dolls. I actually had one of these as a kid. I wasn't much of a plush collector back then, but this wasn't a plush doll to me. It was that mischievous Melmachian from TV. So for those who have no idea who or what Alf is... Ancient history wasn't my best subject. <laughs> here's good old Gordon Shumway to bring you up to speed. A little background. My name is Alf. I come from the planet Melmac. He's one of the most unlikely looking space aliens, that's for sure. Take my word for it. I'm a space being. He was hilarious. And he could be incredibly abrasive, especially to Willie Tanner. Don't be silly. I get along with everybody. I'm a people alien. I picked this one up at a local collector's convention for next to nothing. And he's in great shape. His fur is nice and clean and still the same color as Kate Tanner's hair. For a plush doll, he's actually got quite a bit of detail. He's got fingers, so he can give you four. Give me four! <laughs> ah! His teeth and eyes are made of hard plastic. I see. He's got a separate tongue, and it even has Gordon's little moles on his face. You can style his hair on top of his head a bit, either spiky straight up, or the regular side sweep, as Alf usually wore it. And just like the real Alf, he's pretty stubby. He doesn't get much taller when he stands up. He's a cute plush doll of Alf, but the real charm about this version is the voice clips, which are activated by pushing the button in his belly, which is how you activate most people's voice clips. Nerd mistake. Scroll down and go to town. Join the tribe, hit subscribe. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. Here goes. It's broken! <laughs> the issue with a lot of these vintage talking elf dolls, though, is not just dead batteries, but seized motors, too. I'll show you a trick to try to fix it. Why? I didn't break it! To get at the voice box, you open up the Velcro flap on his back, and pull out the voice box, which may be secured inside with some adhesive. Just give it a good tug and it'll come out. It takes one C battery and once you've screwed the cover back on, you might still not hear anything when you push the button. I'm speechless. This may be because the motor has seized up from too many years of inactivity. Now you could take the whole thing apart, but one quick and easy trick to try to get the motor going again is to just push this pin while hitting the button. By doing this, the voice feature starts working, albeit very slow. After a couple of tries, it started to speed up on mine. You can hear how it's speeding up just from pushing this pin in repeatedly. So if you're not technically savvy, this easy fix might be enough to jumpstart your bashful Melmachian. We put the voice box back in, reseal the flap, and now when his belly is pressed, like most normal people, he speaks, quoting several lines from the show. Hey, just kidding! Just kidding! Just kidding! How about a hug for the old Alfred? Give us a hug. A whisker for your thoughts. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. 
Stop poking me! But we haven't gone through all your catchphrases yet. Let's go check out the fridge. And talking isn't his only play feature. He actually checks out your fridge. So make sure your kitchen's fully stocked because this Melmacian can put the food away. His favorite is a BLT. Bacon, Lucky, and Tomato. <laughs> Do I smell bacon? He looks great alongside other plush favorites like Cookie Monster. Who wants a cookie? Nom, 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 nom. I'll split it with you. And he's great with pets too. Alf, do not eat the cat. Just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> Another talking Alf was available, but this one was much more expensive. Check out this price tag from KB. $79.99 US. That's a fortune in 1987. Even the sale price of $29.99 was still a lot for that time. This was the ALF I dreamed of having. Teddy Ruxpin had been released two years prior with similar moving facial features and storytelling ability. What a yutz. <laughs> but that talking bear never really appealed to me. This was the ALF I'd stare at in catalogs or on the shelf at Toys R Us. Let me see, let me see. Don't get me wrong, I loved my wisecracking ALF. But this storytelling ALF was like the same car but fully loaded with all the features. He didn't just talk, his mouth, eyebrows, and ears moved. This was revolutionary stuff for 1987. I mean, there were a lot of Muppets who didn't have that many animatronics in their head. Like the wisecracking elf, I got this one for a price that was out of this world. Just a case of right place and right time at a local convention near closing time. And the seller didn't want to have to haul it all the way back home, so he let it go for a price that wasn't too far off from the original KB sale price. Much more affordable after 30 years of inflation. Well, he looks pretty restless in that box. I don't think he wants to stay in there anymore. Unless you decide to put in a hot tub and a big screen TV. Let's set this alien loose. The main thing is that I'll do anything to get out of that cage and get my hands on a cat. Stay away from the cat, Alf. <clears throat> he's similar to the other version I have, except he's not able to sit on his own because of the heavy cassette player in his back. You'll have to set him on top of something, since it's a long trip from Melmac and he's probably got a tender tush, preferably something soft like a beanbag. He's about the same size as the other version, just a bit bigger, and a tad more orange. And like the first version, he's not much taller when you stand him up. He includes a 90-day warranty, a flyer for the official ALF fan club, and most importantly, a cassette with some ALF tales. Before the days of MP3s and CDs, there were these things, cassette tapes. And just like the old school game enthusiasts missed the days of being able to slap a cartridge into a game console, Old school music lovers fondly remember the satisfaction from inserting a cassette into a tape deck, which is what Alf has in his back. A rudimentary one, but it's a working tape deck. This deluxe edition takes a whopping 4C batteries. That's almost as much juice as the mass device. This version comes with a battery cover that clips in, so no screwdriver required. Being a 30-year-old electronic toy, you may encounter some issues with this one as well. If the batteries are incorrectly and turning the volume knob to the on position doesn't make the red light come on, the most common reason is because the tape is at its end. There's no tape flip feature here, so you'll have to eject it and turn it over manually. Hey, no problem. Now that we're at the beginning of the tape, the red light comes on and you can control the volume with the dial. And now you just sit back and let Alf tell his story. Once upon a time on Melmac, in the good old days of yore, there were enchanted burps and wicked old snurps hanging out behind the dungeon door. Once upon a time on Melmac, there was a gilch with a castle or two. There was a two-legged rock living under a rock who looked a little bit like you. 
There was a fire breathing Vespa with breath just like a torch. And every time he said good morning, he burned down your whole front porch. But those were good old days because they were once upon a time on Metal Mac, and what a once upon a time it was. That's just oh, what's the word? How about incredible? I was thinking more along the lines of out of this world. You're the one who's out of this world, sweet baby. You're the one who's out of this world. Aw, oh, shucks. Thanks, Alf. This is just pure Hades magic for me. <laughs> Beautiful and modest, too. At first, I wasn't sure about the uh, likeness of this doll. I thought the wisecracking version looked better, and this one was a bit more odd looking. I sense some negative vibes here. Let me finish. But it works wonderfully when he's in motion, with his mouth, eyebrows, and ears moving. The magic is in the movement, not in the still image. Alf actually conveyed a lot of emotion on the show just through his expressions, as limited as they were. And this talking version comes the closest of any Alf toy to having a real, live Malmachian right there in your living room. And in keeping with the upgrade theme over the previous version, this version doesn't have to raid your fridge for food. He can take care of his own meals. Yo, pizza barge. Yeah, I'd like to order one large special, the works. Oh, oh, and listen, uh, could you leave it by the oak tree in the backyard? I don't know, I'm superstitious. Whether it's the storytelling deluxe version or the more affordable wisecracking version, the talking Alf doll is sure to send you into outer space, cause there ain't no one like Alf in the Malmachian race. His dry wit, infectious laugh, <laughs> and indomitable human, or rather Malmachian spirit, has made Gordon a favorite of mine for over three decades. I don't know what the future holds for reimagined incarnations of the old Alfer, but I'm glad that the original was immortalized in plush back in the 80s with such fun features that still work to this day. I guess that's why reboots, remakes, and reimaginings rarely get me excited. They're often just quiet, dull echoes of a more vivid, original overture. <laughs> Alf! Alf! Whew! That's pretty vivid. That's all, folks. Got an ALF memory you'd like to share? Scroll down and go to town. And to join the tribe, hit subscribe. Nerd mistake.